With the election just 11 days away, we should all be making sure we have a voting plan, whether that's in person on election day or by mail. We had a crew talk to the Boise Postmaster and some other United States Postal Service workers who were transparent about their election operations. Our Chase Beefelt joins us live with more. Chase? Well, Gretchen, we know that there's been a lot of controversy around the confidence in our mailing system ahead of this election, but we talked to the men and women in charge of handling your mail to clear some of that up. In short, it's going to be safe for you to vote by mail. USPS takes their jobs and your privacy very seriously. We take great pride in the uh, health and uh, the, well, the health of the mail and to keep it safe. Boise Postmaster Dan Corral says all of your ballots will be delivered on time and accurately. We work very, very diligently and very hard, excuse me, in our community to make sure that we get our carriers out early, getting that mail delivered and back timely. Here's how USPS mail carriers will handle your ballots. What I'm doing to help people during the election time, when they bring me up their ballot, they want to make sure that it's in the mail on time, so I date stamp it with today's date. That way they ensure that they have it in on today and uh, the elections office knows when it gets in as well. There's one thing that I'm doing extra this year. The ballots require your signature on the back of it. I will check to make sure that that customer has actually signed the back of it. And if they haven't, I'll do my darndest to make sure that it gets back to them so it can be signed. I have a special bin that uh, when I receive one in the bail box or somebody gives it to me, I put it in that box. It's strictly for that, and then when I get back, it goes in the boxes that are strictly for that, so it doesn't touch the outside uh, mail stream. With just 11 days until the election, things are starting to get busy. On October 26th, USPS will start collecting ballots at drop boxes early every morning. They'll keep an eye on the boxes and do additional pickups if necessary. USPS will also operate on the Sunday before the election. As we get closer to the elections, on November 1st, that Sunday, we will also be doing some blue box collection pickups to ensure that any ballot that's put in a collection box Saturday night to Sunday will be picked up and in the processing plant early Monday morning to ensure we can get those ballots timely and quickly to the election board. USPS say they have daily communication with the election office by phone, email, and in person when needed to ensure your ballot goes where it needs to go ahead of the election. We go through our facilities, ensure that everything is taken care of. There's no ballots uh, being left behind. Everything is delivered accurately every single day. That's the biggest thing for me is to be accurate and be on time. Now the postmaster added uh, that even if all of your ballots hit the processing plan at the same time, they're only looking at a 2% increase in the amount of mail that's coming in there. So. This isn't anything that they haven't done before. They've got this handled. It's just on us to make sure that we vote for who we want to be the next president. Gretchen. All right, good to know. Thanks, Chase.